a quick video covering the uh, flap motor failure on the Volkswagen Skoda Audi TDI engine. This um, particular one that I did was on a Skoda Octavia 2 litre TDI. Uh, the first I knew about the problem was the engine warning light coming on on the dash. Plugging in a fault code reader showed about seven different codes. Looking on Google showed that the primary um, mechanism of failure was the flap motor um, which blows a fuse in the fuse box and then this then causes the other circuits to uh, uh, show up with fault codes on the cooling fans and the glow plugs and so on. Anyway, um, the flat motor itself is located um, just in the, under here. You have to just remove the uh, top cover. I've done the job now, so I'm not going to redo it. It's just a video to cover some of the useful points. Uh, when you take the old one out, you'll find that it's all gammed up inside with black gunge. Here is the old one, which I've, I've cleaned quite a lot. Um, the main thing to note is that the throttle flap in the middle will almost certainly be seized and you can't move it by hand. Um, I've actually freed this one up now because the new one you can move like I'm doing here. In fact it springs back in one direction so when you, you let go of it it actually returns to the vertical position. Um, I actually took my old one apart and you can see inside what's gone wrong. If I bring this out into the light, uh, there's a gear missing. of the white one that engages with it and that was causing the problem. So uh, there's, there's no way to fix it, it's, uh, it's a plastic part. <coughs> the replacement was about £100 from Eurocar parts and uh, that was with their £25 uh, bank holiday discount which was ideal. Um, the other thing you'll need to remember is the fuse needs to be changed. So if you remove the cover from the fuse box, as I say this is for a Skoda Octavia 2005 model, there's a 10 amp fuse just down beside this relay here, uh, that was blown, so replacing that um, fixed the fault. The other thing you may want to consider whilst you're under taking this off, there's only three bolts, I think it was a 5mm Allen key um, a bit to undo the bolts and it comes off quite easily. You just slide this clip off and that takes the hose out and the electric co electrical connection on the side, you just squeeze the connector and pull it off. Um, there's an EGR valve above it that is almost certainly going to be um, blocked with the uh, same material blocking up your uh, throttle valve so I took that off and cleaned it at the same time um, hopefully that will uh, last anyway hope for that, hopefully that's of uh, some use to someone particularly the bit about testing it um, as I say the new one moves and springs back if your one that you've removed is solid and you can't move it then it's almost certain that the teeth are broken off and it's no good <laughs> 